What up? Welcome on, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy GS Man, and today we got ourselves a uh, about 150k wager um, against True Skill, who is a fellow YouTuber, has just over 2,000 subscribers. If you guys want to go on ahead and show him some love, his link is in the description. Head on over there and let him know GS sent you. Um, you know, looking for wagers on Twitch and. Uh, you know, we uh, we linked up and he happens to have a YouTube and if I happen to play somebody um, And you know, it's a pretty decent wager and you know, you happen to do YouTube or Anything like that like, you know, I definitely don't mind doing a video, you know, and you know I show show some love to the fellow Madden commentators in the community and uh, He come uh, we actually played a wager last year and uh, we ended up winning um uh, this year he came out, you know, split close, very difficult offense to stop. I know what's coming. We all know what's coming. HB wheel mixed in with a few other plays doesn't make it any easier to stop. <laughs> this formation is so difficult to stop. He rolls outside. Dion, being the eggnog fruitcake that he is, ends up just uh, coming down, uh, uh, you know, chasing the QB, leaving his assignment, which left over the top wide open. So he ends up scoring. I'm like, damn, that wasn't a very good way to go on ahead and start the game <laughs> defensively. But I give up points with the best of them. So I'm not really worried about that. This is where I need to shine an offense. And Bo Jackson, get on me, little hoe. He good. Go. Oh, uh, Oh, and into the end zone. And we end up going up. Actually, we don't go up mulligan. We end up tying the game. 7-7. Seven, seven. Stay in school, kids. I'm telling you. School is the most important thing you ever do in your life. Trust me. Believe me. Listen, I kind of got lucky, okay? I'm a goofy-ass bastard who happens to have a mic. And it's pretty decent at Madden. And YouTube came into my life. If it wasn't for that, you know, I'd still be working at Walgreens. I'd be managing things, catching code 70s, which is thieves. And, and you know, people be trying to lie to me, man. You know what it's like working in a bad area for Walgreens? When folks try to come in lying about stuff, and you know when folks is lying, okay? My area was surrounded. Story time with GS. My area, real talk, was surrounded by a lot of drug, you know, just drugs, crackheads, thieves, you know, try to come in, and you know they lying, you know. And one of their biggest, um, once I got promoted, took me about 11 years. But once I finally got promoted, and I had on that uniform, I had on that vest. And, and and my job was to protect the store because that was that was my store. It was my shift when I came in. You know what I'm saying? It was my shift when I was there. You know what I'm saying? The store, the employees were working under me. So my responsibility was to get everything, you know, every, everything working right. So uh nice interception by him right there. So uh one of the biggest scams that they do, the little crackheads, is that they'll go and find a receipt on the floor, they'll try to come into the store. And find the item and return it. Like, let's say you go on and you buy yourself some Clorox, some bleach. You throw the receipt on the floor when you leave the store. A crackhead will pick up that receipt, open up, oh, Clorox. They'll go into the store, get a bottle of Clorox, head to the front register, it's a fumble! And um, he's like, you know what? I don't want this no more, man. You know what? Like, Clorox ain't even my thing. It smells, you know, I don't even need it. I mean, this ain't even Clorox, man. This is Colgate. What the was wrong with you? This don't even match what's on the receipt. They be trying to lie to you, man. Freaking crackheads, man. Always trying to lie to you, brother. You know how many times I caught crackheads trying to lie? There's one time, I swear, I cannot make this up. True story. This lady comes in, because when I got promoted, the only way for me to get promoted is I had to take the overnight shift. That was the only way. They got me. I was like, you know, I got to do it. If I want to get promoted, you know, damn near double how much money I'm making. Let me go on ahead and take this 10 to 8 shift every night. So I started working overnight. This lady came in, and she did the receipt gag. You know, she came in with the 36-pack of condoms. And I'm looking at her. I'm looking at the receipt. <laughs> I swear I cannot make this up. <coughs> and she goes, I want to return these condoms. And I'm looking. I'm like, why are you here 2 o'clock in the morning trying to return a 36 pack? You're 97 years old. You got one snaggle Patrick star tooth. The hell you doing with condoms? But of course, I can't be rude. I can't say that to the customer. So I just look at her like, you know, sarcastically, you bought these condoms? You telling me you bought these condoms? And she goes, yes, I did. Hello, yes, I did. So 
I go to the back, you know, because the time and stamp, you know, the, the date is on the, the bottom of the receipt. So I, this is a good game, by the way, man. Fourth to ten, big play right here. And shabooking. And um, I go to the cameras, right? And I try to find that date and time to see if I can find her buying it at that time. And I could not. I, I swear to God, this is just story. I cannot find the camera. So I'm back to, but I know she's lying. I know she did not buy these condoms. She's a little crackhead, man. She's trying to get her money so she could get her little fix. So I go back to the register, and I'm lying at this point. I'm lying. And I tell her, you know what, ma'am? I looked on the camera, and there's two white guys at this time that shows on the receipt that bought these condoms. And she goes, yeah, oh, that's my that's my daughter's boyfriend. You know, um, they, you know, he came and got that for my daughter. Mm-hmm, he sure did. Mm-hmm, I was waiting outside the car. Bitch, first of all, you said you bought them. Now, all of a sudden, yo, 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 like, what? You said, why are you lying, man? You telling me you came with him to buy your daughter some condoms? Man, get the hell up out my damn store, man. And I took the condoms, too. It was crazy is that what they try to do is sometimes they try to come with no receipt. They try to come with no receipt, acting like they bought something. That's what they do. They go into the store, and they'll come up with something. It's always expensive, too, like some baby formula. Yeah, I don't got the receipt. Can I Can I get some store credit? I'm like, yo, this ain't yours. This ain't yours. We, like, this is not yours, man. I know this ain't yours, man. Like, why are you lying, man? And sometimes I just, YOLO, they don't know, they don't know what I'm allowed to do and what I can't do. So what it is I do is I just keep the product knowing they lie. I'm like, first of all, you're not getting no money. Second of all, don't you ever bring your snaggle to that's back here. Third of all, I'm keeping the damn baby for me. Thank you for coming and get the hell up out my store. Anyways, I talked way too long. But that's the end of the game. Hopefully you guys were paying attention to the game. We ended up winning and uh, we ended up getting the freeze Freeman. <coughs> after the game because he used them during the game um and uh we end up putting him on the auction block so yeah his link again is in the description man head on over there man show a new madden commentator some love man he also uploads some fifa just you know trying to get his feet wet trying to get started in the game and uh you know go on ahead and show some love man definitely uh help the young man out check out his content i myself am subscribed to him so again definitely uh feel free to show some love so um yeah so uh we end up winning the freeman and we end up selling i forgot what happened in the game i wasn't paying attention i was thinking about all the crazy stuff that happened at walgreens at my, at my time there bro like park ave like the walgreens on park avenue on bridgeport connecticut is so bad like the area is so bad you know how many times like people legit came into the store and just stole stuff like right in front of me and walked out this one time i kid you not uh my cashier as i'm in the back uh, my cashier calls code 70 which is a code for a thief and uh he had a cart full of red bulls a cart full he goes <coughs> and he literally tells the cashier yeah i'm stealing them and walks out so i run out there and he's literally just putting them in the trunk just putting them in the trunk he looks right at me and i look at him he just just start you know e honda hands mad quick throwing them in the back i'm like man you idiot i just took a, i just took a picture with my phone of his license plate and we never got a red bull back but i'm sure he went to jail that's the end of the video, fellas. This is your boy, Jess. Follow me on Twitter if you guys don't already. We're going to go on ahead and sign out. Peace!